gay baby. It's a gay baby. Gay baby. Gay, gay, gay. Please be gay. <laughs> and then she laughing. It's like she's black. Okay. Nah. Be what you wanna be, but be gay. Okay. Yo. She said, "Be what you wanna be, but be gay." No way. Like, like that's what oh, she. She said, be what you want to be, but be gay. Then why do you have a kid? Like, <laughs> for real, you could have just done your own thing by yourself. Why did you bring him into this world doing that? Yeah, there's been a heightened just, um, amount of these people that's doing this stuff, bro. Like, it's going to be promoted so much. Oh, now, it's, it's, uh, it's already promoted. It. It's already promoted. Yeah, I understand like, that, but like. That's what Target like, just well, did. You start bringing black people in, it starts expanding really quickly. That's what they've been doing. They've been using us as the face, being the guinea pigs to their movements for, I don't know how exactly. long. Oh. Okay. Be what you want to be, but be gay. Okay? Thank you. See, and this is the thing, look. The whoever it was, it sounded like her mom, maybe. She told the baby, she said, be what you want to be. And she her rebuttal was, be what you want to be, but be gay. Come on, bro. Thank you. That sounds like read the Bible, but don't fall. Right? It. Yeah. No pressure. No pressure, but pressure. That stuff be making me mad for real. What's the point? Like it's a three month old baby, bro. Baby can't even hold the head up. And you over here already pushing the agenda on the baby. Got him with the pride shirt on and everything. Even though we know that that symbolizes the covenant. Wow. Talking about some no pressure, oh, but pressure. This video. It's, this is sick, bro. Like this is some sick stuff. It's crazy because the mama's like pretty much like, no, nah, don't be putting that on this child. And she like, no, nah, you go, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like. Don't have no care. Like, and then she's talking about some please be gay. Now, this is the thing, right? Let's say this three month old baby grows up, straight as all get out, right? And people out here teasing him because he was gay baby. Like, you know how destroyed that can make that boy? Cause now you projecting the spirit on him to do this, right? Yeah. So now what if he start having thoughts of doing it when he was straight? The whole time. And now he's having mm -hmm. thoughts because everybody's clowning him because he was paraded around at three months being called the gay yeah. baby. Bro, it's, this world is sick. And I, I understand why the most I got to purge this place. And it's like... I'm glad he's doing it It's too. like, as the I days mean, of Noah was, like, I can understand why he killed everybody during that time, bro. Because exactly. if they was... Exactly. And, and it, the world now is, is, is worse than what it was then... You know what I'm saying? So people just being just, uh, bro, this makes me mad, bro, because I can only imagine, like imagine that this is your son, right? Or this is your daughter and you let somebody else watch your kid or you send them to school and they pushing this stuff on them. You know what I'm saying? You got people like her around them. This is why I'm like, I don't want my kid to go to school. I want to homeschool them period exactly. because they start pushing this and, and putting spirits up on my kid that's not supposed to be there i'm gonna be i'm gonna be pissed i'm gonna be highly upset exactly there's no that ain't happening yeah there's no there's way no way he's at his most impressionable age that's right marcus because a kid only gonna only gonna replicate what he sees and what's being told to him you know what i'm saying yes. he's at the he's at the at like the utmost learning stage of his life right now so if this is what he see, if if this is what he sees, like say his mom has a, a woman, right? And they together or whatever, right? The the kid is gonna always like never have a problem with it. Because yeah, these are the people that was raised. It. Exactly. It's gonna it's gonna be an automatic acceptance. Because first of all, yeah. nobody's gonna ever teach him against it. You know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, people like that, they don't let nobody around their kids. So they indoctrinate them with these philosophies and stuff like that that's not 
realistic to the rest of the world. So yeah. they're going to shelter the kid. They're going to instill all of that in him. And then when he goes around and then everybody looking at him like, why are you so odd? He's not going to even think that he's odd at all. So and maybe like even convert some of point. Yeah, and maybe even convert some of them. Because how yeah. can you argue with somebody that say, I got two moms. I got two dads. That's how like can... what we talked about in that TV show yeah. that I told you about. Exactly, I homeschool my kids. Exactly, man. Where you, where you, where, where you live at? Could I send my kids to you? <laughs> Straight up, for real, man. This stuff is ridiculous. This is why Israel needs to really, like, consider like all of the stuff that's going on in this world because they got, they got, they got some wickedness going on, bro. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. As a man kind of slackness, exactly. A lot of people they think that they're gonna get away with this stuff because the world accepts it right now, but they're gonna have a rude awakening when the father sent his son and and has to destroy the rest of this world. Then ain't nobody gonna have uh, questions anymore of oh, is it right? <laughs> You're gonna find out in that day.